croutant. If we evolved from monkeys, why are there still monkeys on this bowl? Um, you see, Naxi, that's a big... Uh... I mean, Naxi, this is prating, not dunking. Op vandag se episode. You know, bedbugs are in the bed. Grasshoppers stay on the grass. I wear your cockroaches to... Naxi! <laughs> 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 Oh my goodness, you make me uh, laugh. My king. Okay, let's shut up now. Today's guest has a voice like Yin. He is a multi-instrumentalist and he plays the banjo, the ukulele and the banjo lele, which is kind of like the mingles of instrumenta. I'm not making the stuff up, Mensa. I once actually saw a photo of this oak with a kakroot spinnerkop on his gesig. It made me bang. I also saw photos of him with a Dusein Vihannas shoved into his kousa. Again, mensa. Not making the stuff up. He can land a kickflip on a skaatsplank, but he'll rather spandeer his tight in parkies marking likies than lanting trickies on plankies. He has over 70, 50, no, excuse me, 57 mil. Not in his bank balance, no, on the skin, but on his YouTube canal. And he has a gigantic mole on his gesig. Sit die hande by mekaar en fuck it, klop somme. Vir die talentvolle en kleervolle Matthew Mole. We're gonna be prodding, prodding. 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 Nice, you're doing good so far. Yeah. Welcome, Matthias. Thank you. Matthew. Uh, Matthew. Can you, Mol. Mol. Can you prod Afrikaans? Um, uh, picky. Okay. You saw the kijkers by a beindruk as you now and then an Afrikaans word let in glibber. Mm, you lost me, you lost me now. Okay. Yeah. Now I have a We can use mingles. Which brings Afrikaans and Engels together. Beautifully. Are you bang or nervous? I'm extremely bang. You know what I've noticed this season? Yeah. In the first season, everyone was Cullen. But now they've, most of the people this season have caked some <laughs> prating. And now they come and they're like, they look yeah. at me before we start and they're like, Yes. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, yeah, I'm waiting. I'm nervous. I'm bummed. No, be colour. I'm your, I'm your, I'm friend. your friend. Yeah. And your silkundige. Okay, Matthew <laughs> Mole. Is it true that Matthew Mole comes from the fact that you have a mole? Because uh, it could be because where's the mole? <laughs> uh, <laughs> where is it? So, uh, I've been searching, I've been searching for a while, but no, uh, I don't know, I don't know where the surname comes from. So it's a real surname? It's my real surname, it's not a stage name, yeah, yeah. People often ask me if it's my stage name, but I would have chosen something way cooler than that. Yeah, mole is pretty cool, but <laughs> okay. this funny, like I honestly thought, and I swear I heard that it was a, uh, it was because you had a mole, and ah. for your whole career, I've been in lurking. Yes. In the background, Just searching Do you want me to... for the mole. I even oh. in, in this intro said you have a big mole in your gesicht, but you don't. 
Are you sure? I don't know. What are you hiding <laughs> under that bead? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I, I, I used to tell, I used to think in school, I was like, because you know, you've seen Austin Powers. Oh, know, yeah. Molly, 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 Molly. So I got that my whole life. And I tried to think of some other, that like, mole can mean spy. Apparently. Yeah. So when I was oh, well, in, it's, it's more like a rat, like <laughs> a mole that's been embedded to bring down an organization. And yeah, I thought that sounded cooler than a, than a face mole. mole. Do you have trauma from children going mole, 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 mole? <laughs> <laughs> I, um, honestly, if I have to think about it, you may be. Maybe. No, no, when you do it, I feel it very comfortable. Col- column. Column. Any other trauma? <gasps> Didn't expect to dive, dive into trauma so early in the episode. Let's get, get it. Get yeah, it, get, let's but get let's it. get serious about trauma. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't think so. You can give us yes or no. I, I do have a you know, yes. Can I dive into a little bit? You're welcome. This uh, is... Yeah? Yeah. We're parting. We're parting, yeah. So um, I, I am scared of playing gigs in Kapstadt. Yeah. To certain, there's certain people in Cape Town. When I started in the music industry, it was a scary place to play music because I don't think I was one of the cool guys because you got the cool bands. Yeah. So it was scary. Cape when you Town play is with a very cool, cool guys, place. It's very cool. I, I like it now. Not scary yeah. now, but there was trauma there in the beginning. Which could mean one of two things. What? Either you have become one of the cool guys. Yes. Hopefully not creating any trauma for any new, young, uncool Guys, Guys, yourself, people, yes, yeah. or I know that when, like, the Cape Town bands are very cool. Like, if Francois van Gogh rolls up with his band and He's they're cool. all dressed in leather to the yeah. tee, I feel like, okay, yeah, yeah. very cool, yeah, like, very cool. I mean, the bands are all very cool, but it's more the people, the people that I was scared of, yeah, and I was from, I'm from Cape Town. But um, I don't think I, I don't think I became cool, like you say. I think I drifted too far from the other way. But come on, <laughs> I'm very uncool. No, I, I disagree. And we'll, we can, by the end of this episode, I'm going to make you beseef okay. that you are cool. Um, First, I, mean, I just want to tell Cape Town, don't be ugly to Matthew. <laughs> no, they were never ugly. No, but not thank ugly, you. but make him feel cool. Just be lacquer, Kapstadt. because you got they are cool. They're very cool. And it's great. It's, it's. I think they drink oat milk and they have solar power. Yeah, that explains it. And now I know what I need to do. Do you drink um, milk? I was going to ask you. There's a little bit of oat milk in there. Do you, do Is you... it oat milk? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do I drink oat milk? Yeah. I've never tasted it. Hi, I am Groetont and I drink Okja oat milk because I am giving the queer a break. Let sleeping queer lie. Drink oat milk, my oats. Well, I would offer you a taste, but I'm, I like my coffee so stark that okay. I'm afraid you of might. What it'll do to me? Yeah, you might get a bout of. A jolt of anxiety. Like from the, yeah. Okay, let's, I'll maybe later, let's see when, it, when you drink yes. some. I've never had oat milk, is it good? It is good. Okay. It really is good. It, I feel it makes the coffee thicker. Ah. Yeah. And thicker. Thicker. It's always better. Yeah. When we're talking about beets. Yes. Beet must be duck. A duck When you're beet. talking about... Milk. Milk, it needs to be duck. Okay. When you're talking about... What else needs? Dogs. Dogs? Honda? Okay. Can Honda, Hondas be duck? I've got a clan hunt. Really? So uh, that's why I'm asking. What kind of hunt do you have? She's a rescue hunt. Oh, yeah. is that a breed? Yeah, it's a Cape Tonian breed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cape, it's the only breed of Cape Tonian dog is rescue yeah. hunt. Yeah. What breed is that? No, it's a rescue, actually. <laughs> Not a <laughs> different kind of yes. horse. No, she's like three different horns in one. Okay, so, okay. So, so it's, uh, she's not duck. Strathbrock. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. you're, you're a nice guy, right? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> No, it's a, I mean, no, no, I'm not. But no, but thanks. you come across as a really nice, solid, wholesome human being. That's, is that, that a is fair nice. assessment or is it too much pressure? No. Because you are aware of the fact that you are perceived as a nice guy. So you feel like, oh, I have to be nice. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, You're welcome. I, yeah, thanks. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I like speaking, prating, meeting nice people. Yeah. Prating with nice people like you. And um, it's always, it, like, it's something that I remember when I meet people and they're very nice. So, um, I guess it's just something I've always wanted to try and, like, I don't know, if I meet someone and they think that I was nice, that's great. Yeah. So I'm not trying to put on a fake nice thing. If no. you say I'm nice, that's cool. That's yes. great. But um, there's no pressure to try and No be nice. pressure to feel like you have to be the nice guy. A perfect nice person, yeah. Because I'm not. I'm actually okay. a horrible person. Okay, yeah. there we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've just tuned in, <laughs> I'm sitting here with the horrible Matthew Mull. Mm hmm Are you into politics? Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not. A, uh, I won't have much to say about it, but let's see. <laughs> yeah, I love when people don't have a lot to say about something. Yeah. Then please, say more. Okay. Uh, let's prod politics. Let's prod. Okay. Do you, do you want to? Do you have anything to say? Or do you want me to just go for it? Because I can tell you what I think. Just go for it. <laughs> what are you thinking right now? We're sitting here in my garage. Yeah. It's um, very nice. Thank well. you. Yeah, I've invested a little bit of. Is that me? That is you. Thanks. We bring, we switch that out every yeah. single episode, and we have an embroider. Yes. It's actually a, a posse of Naxos. Wow. He embroids, and he made that embroidery for you, and you get to keep thank it you, after Nax. the episode as well. Thanks, Nax. At a fee. Yes, that's. I would expect. Yeah. Cool. Nothing in this live is free. It's show business. Mm-hmm. Uh, politics. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not as educated as I probably should be when it comes to politics. Is I'm, anyone really? Yeah, that's, that's a good point. <laughs> that is a good point. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. I guess I, I, I have a, f I might have a few views on, a, on things, but, but for me, like my, the last 10 years of my life, I've learned a lot about myself, I think, and a big part of my life is the fact that I'm a musician because it's what I do most of the time. I yeah. write music, play music, and um, I do see the value in like combining my political views with that, but I've ne I haven't ever because I enjoy so, making music. So you've never made like a political song or statement or anything? Not really. You're more the escape a... from all of that harass. That's... Really cool. Yeah. If, if that's you offer what it would the be. escape instead of the opinion. Yes. Great. I definitely don't. I don't think I would share my opinion because it might be. It might be not be good. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's good. It might just be uneducated. But um, if it can be an escape yes. from from some of the noise every now and then, cool. It feels like a scary time to share people share one's opinion, and yet everyone is constantly sharing their opinion. their opinions. Yeah. Why? Why do you think people have the need to share yeah. their opinions? It's a very good question. I mean, I guess like people like to be heard, and even if they don't even know what their opinion is, they like to. A lot of people like to, I think, figure out their opinion in public. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm not good at doing that, but um, I don't know. I guess people like to like to have a voice, right? Even if yeah. it's like to to your seven. Facebook friends. Yes. It's, um, as long as it's to someone, someone. and not just to yourself, because then you're yeah. just dunking. We all always have a voice. Yes. And I don't know who that voice is. Wow. Do you think that our thoughts come from us? Yeah, do you think it's in your own voice? Do you ever, when you think, oh, I, that's not what you're asking, but when you think, is it in your same voice? Can you hear a voice speaking? <laughs> when you dunk. Sometimes I sorry. dunk in. You dunk in. Do you, I think in Engels and in Afrikaans and in Mengels. Really? Yeah. In Mengels. 
But I sometimes I dunk in prankies. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I think I dunk more in prankies as well. I think. I dunk. Yeah, but w dunking is a funny thing because like... Who, where's it coming from? Yeah. So where are you? Are you making the thoughts or are you just listening to the thoughts? And then prating those thoughts. Yeah, and deciding whether you should prat them. Mm. I think a lot of people have that have a problem where they don't make that decision, they just prat the thoughts. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and they maybe should just be dunking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and kissing. Yeah. Which thoughts to prat? Oh, I thought you meant kissing. Uh, and kissing. Yeah. World needs to kiss more. They do. Kiss less counter and kiss more lipper. I like oh. that. I like it. Oof. May I? Please. As a brief. Mensen moet minder kanten kies en meer lippen. You have to think hard about the kanten there because I'm prating so much Engels here with Matthew mm. Mull today. Mensen kies minder kanten, kies meer lippen. More reverb. That was big, eh? That was beautiful. For the Engels break in this, I'm saying people should kiss less kanta and more lip. Nice long reverb Mate. tail there at Love the it. end. Love it. Now, you're a musician and you gig a lot. Yes. No, Reasonable yes, yes, amount. <laughs> Has it been a difficult adjustment coming from mm -hmm. lockdown yeah. where there was suddenly Focal, you understand that word. What does that mean? Nux. <laughs> no, I know it. One and of my favorite Afrikaans. Oh, word really? Like. And yeah. How do you, how does it sound? You want, flowing out of your. You want me to say that? I mean, we'll see. Let's see. Let's how see. Go. Yeah, Let's yeah. see. Um, is it, yeah. I wonder if swearing is cool. It's it's very cool. There we go. Especially in Cape Town. Yeah. Shout out Cape Town, you're the fucking nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, suddenly, yeah. lockdown is for Bay. Mm -hmm. Everything is back to normal. Yep. And you're gigging four times a week again. Has yeah. it been like just great to have that again? Or has it been a bit of a shock to the system that there was no real like easing back into it? It was just like, cool, yeah. you're back. Hit the road. Yeah. I, so I think at first, I mean, I haven't, I haven't, yet gotten into the full on four times a week, as you say, like, like you guys. Uh, so hopefully that'll come. We prot four times a month. Oof, that's a lot of times to prot. Yeah. But, um, Not enough though, we need to prot more. Okay, like four times but a sorry, week Sorry, I'm interrupting you. No, I love it when you, you do that. You missed lockdown. I, I did enjoy a lot of lockdown. I enjoyed the, the obvious, like being able to have more time to be creative, but also like, spending more time with my fro and my haunt. And, and um, <laughs> that means wife, right? And dog. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, fro can also just mean... Macy. Yeah. Or woman or... or... Person. Mens. Person. What's well, person? What's person? That's not person. Yeah, that's person. That's person. So, um, so I enjoyed all of that. All of that. It was really nice to... Uh, just to be home. A yeah. Lot. And um, I enjoyed it, but then when... That was all over, like you say, suddenly gigs are back, shows are back, now we must go back to normal. It was a slight shock to the system, but it was also a mixture of that and like the crew that, there's four of us that travel around and play shows the, on the crew. There's the sound engineer, tour manager, and some other guys. And um, we were all so excited to be back. Everyone was taking photos and like, yeah. it's like it was the first time. So that was fun and that lasted, it's still kind of going. People are still so happy to be arriving somewhere that they've been a million times yeah. to play shows, which I've always loved, but um, it's definitely also a bit of a shock to the system. Yeah. Where, like, I get tired a lot quicker than I used to, and I can't breathe properly when I'm singing anymore. Yeah, um, I also, it's <laughs> like the gig fitness it's an, has it's definitely a thing. Like gone down a bit. Yeah, it's definitely a thing. Carrying your stuff and then singing and being like energetic and still being able to breathe while you sing yeah. is it's difficult, I think, when you haven't done it for two years. But um, but no, overall it's been nice. It's been really nice just to awesome. just to see other mensa again. Get out person. there again. Would you would you say you would you describe yourself as an introvert or an extrovert? Definitely introvert. Really? I think that's partly also why I'm, I'm extremely scared to be prodding with you. But then thank you for 
taking that fear and staring it straight into the gesicht and being there. <laughs> yeah, and no, yeah, no, thank you. Because yeah. introverts have a lot to say. Mm, they do, but I think they think a lot more and don't prat enough. Yeah. Do you feel like you're sometimes in your, too much in your gedachtes? Yeah, every day. Really? Elke dag. Every and is day. it a pleasant garden? Yeah, it's maybe like 50-50. <laughs> <Yeah>. It <laughs> depends what day it is. No, yeah, it's, it's pleasant. I like that you call it a garden. That makes it feel more pleasant. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's pleasant. It's pretty pleasant, but it's, it's a lot of, of pleasant. There's yeah. some tomatoes, some yeah. fruchten, some wortels, and wortels. some onkruid. Onkruid? Which is... I don't know what that is. Onkruid is... See, there is... This is how the mystery of mangles. Mm. Mystery of mangles is that when a word is better yeah. in Afrikaans, it just automatically becomes the main word. Mm. And you can forget the English one and make space in your gedachtes and in your brain. So vergeet isn't better than forget, or is it? It is, vergeet. Vergeting. But that would have been too many. But mm. onkruid is a weed. So each Ooh, garden there's has- there's lots of those, yeah, yeah. Some, There's some weeds there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can garden in the mind and you can pluck them out or you can get they can you can just ignore them. Tangled up in your brook. I don't yeah. think you, you must ignore. You must never. You must never. But uh, I do often. I think so. a lot of people do ignore the weeds and they go for the wortels. But, um, you can smell a wortel when... Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, no, the garden's good. It's, it's nice. It's okay. I think I can kind of tell from the songs that I write, as I guess because I write songs, um, I can tell like if the song is sounding very sad and dark, yeah. which uh, I've, I haven't really, I don't think I've ever gotten there yet, then I think I'll know, oh wow, maybe the, the yeah, garden cause, needs some cleaning. Because music is, or writing rather, is like a... It's a thing. It's a therapy, it's like a form of therapy mm, for you. Super therapeutic, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I think that's a good indication of like, I mean, I, I, I've always tried to make an effort of write, in writing songs that are like, positive and hopeful yeah. and um, I think I would like, I'd have a good idea. That would be one of the warning signs. If I can't think of anything hopeful and it's all kind of dark, Me. then maybe I need to Like have you guys heard the new Matthew Mull album? It's yeah. Hectic. <laughs> no, well, you're not there yet. Not I, yet. I, I actually feel like there is a very strong positive undercurrent present in your oh, music. That's nice. Which I think has a very positive influence on a lot of people. Wow. Maybe you, you need to understand your own mind garden and the weeds and the darkness in order to be able to channel mm. the positivity with more reality and varate. And that's why it's meaningful to people. Yes. Wow. So well done for wow. being able to do that it's an art form in itself and making it catchy on top of that. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's no a tough pressure. one. No <laughs> pressure. I still need to figure out how to do that as well. No, I but think you, you, figure, <laughs> you have figured it out. Oh, uh, thanks, but you're giving me too much confidence here. Okay, don't worry. Yeah. I'll, I'll bring you back down <laughs> yeah, to really the earth. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> um, do you feel like you, you're, you're like quite an anxious Person. Oh, extremely. But I've only become a lot more anxious over the like the last few years. I'm I'm now 30 years old, and I think over the last few years I've learned a lot about how I deal with certain situations and like if I feel anxious about something, what makes me anxious. Yeah. And yeah, I think I can very easily get anxious, like including like coffee can can be a simple thing yeah, that will remind me. Yeah, it's a fine line with coffee. Yeah, but I guess it, uh, it does. Like, do you think the coffee? Makes, it, it makes me anxious if I have coffee. Do you think that depends on the other stressful things in your life? So if you don't have many stressful things in your life, coffee will just make you feel very happy and not, not anxious. That's a good question. I sometimes w wonder about the same thing when it comes to the old... Um, Zob. The old Zob. Mm. I see you're familiar with the term. Mm. Trademark, by the way. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm very familiar with the term Zob. Very familiar as in... Nax's voice is also in my head. Right now. Zab. I mean, both of, both of you, but... Naxie, get out of Matthew Mull's gedacht. 
Oh, maybe not. No, we don't my... belong there. Next, you... next. <laughs> and I's in my head. Oh. <laughs> he's giving us thoughts to dunk about. Next, you stop giving us thoughts to dunk about. This is party. I want to dunk think in about your lunch. own time. What's for lunch? Next, clown. <laughs> love you, Max. Love, love you too. Oh, I love you too. Goodbye. Okay, They say actions speak louder than words, but isn't speaking an action? <laughs> Who decided to put the alphabet in alphabetical order? When you are trying to fail and you succeed, did you fail or did you succeed? <laughs> what? If you think about it, nothing is on fire. Fire is on things. <laughs> Isn't being born the leading cause of death? Do you smoke Zob from time to time or never? Yeah, so I have, I have. I've had a few Zobs when I was in, just as I was finishing school. I mm. really, really hope that my parents don't watch this because they've no, never worry. known. I'm 30 years old and I shouldn't well, be scared of that, right? Well, this is the, cool, the coolest way mm. you can tell your parents. I know. And That's they might true. actually be like, finally. He's admitting it. you like. Us too. Us yeah. too. We should get together, oh, my boy. <laughs> you know? Maybe you find something. Yeah, maybe. I, f well, I feel like from 30 onwards, there's a lot, if not almost everything, comes to light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the leader to the to so, the hour. This might be the last thing. So, well, yeah. So basically, at the end of school, I had, a, I had it a few times. I zobbed a few times. Is it a verb? Can I make it a verb? Yeah, yeah. It's, it can be anything you I want. Thought, you clapped so. the zob, you were zobbing. Zob. Yeah, I love it. And I, so I, I clapped a few zobs. <laughs> and um, no, not a lot, maybe three or four. And then I realized it made me extremely scared of things, paranoid. Yeah. And then I, it was not a nice experience. Well, then so, you, you, then you veer it. And it's that same yeah. question is like, is it just unlocking a, Potential. Like coffee. Yeah. Or not. Scientists yeah. hit us up in the comments with the facts. And now, if you feel anxious, what do you do to, to kind of counter it? Do you just yeah. find a quiet space and breathe? Hmm. Or like, what's, yeah. what's your... It's a good question. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, I, there are a few ways. I know of like a few practical ways, I guess, that I've tried to deal with anxiety. I've never had... I've never had like an enormous anxiety attack that I've had to figure out how to deal with it. But I mean, I just, I think it's just a lot of thoughts. I think it's normal for creative. I mean, not normal. Yeah. I think it's common, but I, I enjoy exercising. I enjoy running and I do that a lot. I know you that if I- You pump ice there. I, I not really, just- Just running. Yeah, I only pump my, my Biener. Yeah, it's important and to pump Biener. Not enough people are pumping the Biener. <laughs> <laughs> They're all just pumping the bule. Yeah. They walk around yeah. looking like um, like a flakvark. Oh, I saw a flakvark on the weekend. Really? The actual flakvark. Yeah. They do walk like that. Yeah. Eh? yeah. Klein beekies achter groot. They just always pumping gewicht. That's why yeah. flakvarks are very vulnerable creature from the rear. Mm. If you see a flakvark from the rear, I feel like you can just go on these little bokies and go. Oh, yeah. Eita! <laughs> We're watching you, and you'll be like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but if you see him from the front, he's like, oh, it's a scary <laughs> man, yeah. Got the tusks. It's probably very similar with like a butt. Yeah. Similar situation. A butt. From, you, the, from the front. Yeah. You, you, you're not a butt. Uh, do you have to ask? No. 
You, yeah, I thank you. I'm, I mean, not thank you. <laughs> I'm telling I, you. I, I <laughs> so, in case you were wondering. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, now I know. Yeah. No, yeah, I wouldn't consider myself a, a boot. If I was, I'd probably feel like I could maybe take my, take people, a few more people in a couple of fights if it came to it. It's never come to it, so I, I don't know yet. Do you own Bitcoin? Uh, I don't have any Bitcoin. Do you own but Bitcoin? <laughs> <laughs> no, but Bitcoin has officially been trademarked as well. Okay, I love it. Um, so you own Bitcoin, I need to buy some Bitcoin. Yeah, we you. sell nice. Bitcoin and basically like it. it's like a currency mm -hmm. that you can use to impress bad or you can chow it. <laughs> yes. It gives you some crap. You can put it in your shape. Bitcoin. Bitcoin. You can I truck it. it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> do you feel like you said in the last couple of Yara, yeah. the anxiety has increased a little bit. Do you think that just comes with getting older? Or do you think this lockdown business had something to do with it as well? Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's a good, it's a good question. I, I definitely think the lockdown business had something to do with it. I think... Maybe as you get older, I don't know, maybe it depends how you deal with, with stuff. Maybe I'm just late in learning how to deal with things. But also, I think maybe, um, maybe as you get older, like, yeah, there's, there's definitely a lot more responsibilities and stresses that are introduced into your life. More clouds but, in, the, in the sky of the mind. Yeah, but I, like, I think you just become more aware of those things, maybe. Yeah. And when you're, when you're a bit younger, those, those are like... Things that would normally stress you out, kind of, it's like my maths exam that's happening on Monday, and which is a stressful thing. But, but is um, this really happening, or is this uh, you're not doing extra maths, are you? Uh, it's probably sh no, no, it's too Matthew late. I should have. Whoops, plus minus divided <laughs> multiplication. <laughs> Pythagoras. Oh, Pythagoras. Wow. Matthew Mole. I took ma uh, maths literacy. I don't know if that, how long that's been a thing it's in school. I yeah. didn't. I didn't ever stress about maths because I took the very easy version. It's in your so, name. Yeah. It's like I don't stress about Horner or Peaches yes. ever. That's I true. have that on my hospitality rider. I just say a Vata yeah. and a big like just peaches, whether you bring it I'll, to me in gelegde perskes or like a fars perske. Yes, if there's not. There's peaches there, I chow them. If there's not, I go, oh! Yeah? Not gonna play. Good. And so, then I yeah, take Yeah, you go, yeah. you vibe. So now what about Francois van Koch and Fina that we did together? Yeah. Uh, where did they have any there? Or is that, why, is that the only reason why you played only like I only played that two songs? Two songs be because of the peaches. Yeah, they, didn't, they had a Nazi, so I was like, uh, not the same. That's actually worse. Yeah. And sometimes they have that furry peach, and I'm like, oh! oh those are the best? Okay, okay, wait. That's they have that glibberige peach. Okay. I'm like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have any interesting things on your hospitality? Yes. Right? You look excited to talk about, about this. this. <laughs> okay. Oh, I've actually, what do you have? I've heard of a couple, I've heard of a tip that's from, I think it came from you, but. Um, really? We have a mutual friend. Who, who has given me a lot of tips when it comes to my, my hospitality writer. So firstly, when I was a lot younger, uh, I was, when I was studying, I studied audio engineering. We went, I went and um, we, what's it called? We, we, like sh we job shadowed people yes. at festivals and we went to a festival and I saw all these hospitality writers and I was like, who do these people think they are? <laughs> they're, they're getting paid to play the show and they want a bunch of free sweets and stuff. And, um, but now I realize that, I don't know, that's just how it works. Now you know and who they are. Yes. <laughs> oh, Welcome yeah, to the club. Yeah, oh. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so we've, my favorite thing on my hospitality rider is, okay, it's all, in terms of drinks, it's all nothing special. There's a lot of waters and like Red Bulls and there's a Jack Daniels bottle in there. But, um, uh, so you go gross, huh? Yeah, 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 you gotta, but it's also like the people that, that give you that stuff, they must, be very concerned because you tell them, give me a whole bottle of Jack Daniels and then I'm still going to sing and keep myself yeah. under control. No, I won't, I won't, I won't drink the whole you bottle. You just have a little bit of 
It just won't laugh with the voice. For the voice. And the and it's it's nice. And the more you tour, the more rough the voice gets, the more Jack Daniels you, you need. need. Exactly. So I mean, but that that's that's common, I think, right? But what I have is and every time they've always provided it. Yeah. Is a, a nice okay, so there's peanut butter, jar of peanut butter. It has to be black cat peanut butter with the I don't, I don't mind what the brand is. It's nothing to do with the brand, not a sponsor, or whatever, but I just like this this flavor. And this is partly from our mutual friend. He suggested this. Whole jar of black cat peanut butter with uh, no added salt, salt and sugar. And then a huge jar, a huge can of apricot jam. Yeah. And thick slice white bread, a loaf of that. And then we just make peanut butter and jam sandwiches and it's incredible. Wow. Pro it's tip. Very good. And a milk tart. Milk tart. Go to milk tart. You sure you're not Afrikaans? I don't know. Milk tarty. Milk tarty. Yes. So wait. Let me just ask this. How do you manage to sing after chowing a jar of peanut butter and a milk tart? You see what I'm saying? So now you would, people would think I'm going to drink the whole Jack Daniels. Doesn't it give you flame? Afterwards. But uh, oh, it's yes, it after does. after the show. It's a nice thing to just, well, no, normally I have it before the show and it is a problem. It is a phlegmy thing. But, but there's normally, most of that loaf and the jars are there after the show. And then we'll go and make a couple sandwiches and then I'll take it all home. I've got like five jars of peanut butter at home now. Currently at home. Yes, like when you're winning, you're winning. At <laughs> and all those milk tarts, you just shove it into like someone's <laughs> face at the end. You're like, cheers, eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Book me again. <laughs> oh, man. No, the milk, the milk tart is a, it's a popular one backstage with, there's four of us in That's the band. That's how you chop that thing in four. People to like you. No, Give not some people tarts. don't like you. I mean, in Cape Town. <laughs> just be like, oh. yo, guys, come out with the milk tart and just. Yeah, some milk tart. Fling yeah. it at the audience. They will either like me a lot or really hate me for yeah. throwing it at, at everyone. I'm gonna update our hospitality rider to I like this peanut butter thing. Yeah. But what we're gonna do, just have a couple of licks and then leave the jar open and plant a rose in there. Like yes. real classy, real classy like move. That. That's yeah. very nice. Yeah. Okay. Can I give it a few test tries? Give it a test that? try and okay. then we make it a social media thing where if you post it, 5% down on the next gig fee. Yes, <laughs> I like it. Okay. This is show business. Show business. You know? Yeah. Okay, That's I like I think. it. But now, milk tart, if you had a milk tart, would it have to be an, an oat milk tart? No, I'll make an exception. Okay. Can you make an oat milk tart? Whoa, my brain just glitched. Can you make an oat milk tart? <laughs> Can you make an oat milk? Can you make an oat milk tart? <laughs> Tatting. Why do they call, not so much anymore, but why did they call promiscuous women a tat? Ah, oh, a tat. I've actually, so I, I've only ever been heard like, like a naughty, so a a naughty tat. kid. Like, back oh. on thy macy, say so a tat. Have you heard that before? I think so, now that you say it. So say a tat. <laughs> That's a good question. Like, that's a compliment. I'll be like, well, fuck y'all. Yeah. Oh, I want to hang out with this dad. dad. I want to smell that. Yeah, it's Now I'm like, you see Ma? Like, we should have said that. Like, <laughs> should have said she's like a broccoli or something. A dad, yes. I will. Ciao. <laughs> that's a very good point. But I think I've, I've only ever heard like naughty kids being called a, a tart. Really? But maybe it's a different thing. A tart and a tart. What, is... what, what do you call a promiscuous man? Um... A haunt. A haunt. He's haunting. Like he's that. out there in the dorp haunting. Yeah, he's haunting in the dorp. Not like a ghost. No, no, no. Ah, uh, you see. A ghost is Isn't that your album title? It's a spook. See, oh, that was very smooth. Making parallels. That was yeah. very smooth. Yeah, thanks. Wow. That is my album. It was, was one of them. Yeah. Oh, the thanks. one that sold a million. No, <laughs> not really, but thanks. Or did, unless you, that's, you're it, telling me you're going to go buy it. Well, it streamed like nine hundred ninety-nine thousand. <laughs> um, oh yeah, yeah, okay, so that's cool. Okay, Streams. haunting, haunting in the dorp. Is, Have you ever is, haunted in a dorp? Uh, Obviously, before. Are we talking? Oh yeah, no. I, I, and I can honestly say no. I never have haunted like that because um, I, I don't know. I think I was too awkward, socially awkward to even talk to girls. Yeah. Or anyone. Where, uh, like, I didn't, I couldn't, I, I found, I think I met my wife too early on for me to haunt. I have haunted. Yeah. 
But you Unless know, that counts as me haunting. You can haunt with, haunt with people my... can haunt with their wives too. You know, I'm just saying, like you're like. I guess that's a good thing. No, oh, it's a good thing. To now that on. you're hitting the 30s, you can be like, okay. You get your tart vibe going. <laughs> I'll get my haunt on and, and then we'll meet you ten o'clock then. In the dorp. In the dorp, maybe somewhere in Kriya's dorp. Yeah. And then we, we hold. <laughs> Get a lack of Formula One. Yeah. Right <laughs> oh, wow. Do a bit of haunting. God, I'll ask her. I'll ask I think, Jess. like, yeah. I know it sounds hectic, but it's actually wholesome. No, yeah. I, I think haunting so. Haunting with your wife. With your wife. I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. I'm here uh, all week for marriage <laughs> advice, counseling. <laughs> Ideas. Oh, we're gonna we'll see we'll ask Jess what she thinks. I think she'll like it. Yeah. And even if you just land up in the Formula One smelling on yeah, a milk tap, yeah, it's still we'll a big vibe. Uh, yeah, we'll take our haunt with. Yeah. We'll, we'll be haunting and tarting. Haunting Either and way. tarting. Either way. That is beautiful. That's beautiful. <sighs> Let me ask you this, my king. Yes. Would you say you're a king or a clown? Oh, a clown, 100%. Okay. But I'm, I'm very thankful and grateful that you you assume that I'm a king. No, I'm still going to go with king. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. You've I got like king it. energy, but... Oh. Yeah. Whenever someone has king energy... Maybe I'm not misleading you in some way. <laughs> Whenever someone has king energy, what happens? I wonder if we ever perceive ourselves as other people perceive ourselves. Ourselves. Yeah. How can like we that. perceive ourselves if the thing that's being perceived is also the thing doing the perceiving? Whoa. Can you can you put uh, questions on the on the cuckold? Do you want to put microphone? that question on the? There's no way I would ever be able to say that. I can try, but please, you can you can take it. Please, listen, please. Okay, wait a second. Just. Whisper, whisper, whisper to me. How can we perceive ourselves? How can we perceive ourselves if the thing we, if are, the perceiving thing we are perceiving is also, is the, thing being also the thing being perceived? I like that you were saying it while I was saying it. Yeah. Oh, well, sorry. It feels like there's a, lot of, back. there's a lot of croch on this microphone. We must yeah. listen to this. Ooh. Panda. Panda. You love. Yeah, okay, no. We're gonna get copyrighted if we sing too yeah, much of this. Don't song. too much, we're gonna get a copyright <laughs> strike. Um, that was very deep and awesome. Yeah, it's true though. It's like trying to. I can perceive ourselves as a thing doing the. I don't even remember, but it was awesome and beautiful. And, Thank you. And there's no answer to that question. The answer is the question. Oh. Sorry, we're living next to a dentist mm. who's currently busy drilling Oof. into someone's malt. Into so if you're malt. hearing a drilling, ah. someone's malt is getting drilled. Drilled, yeah. <laughs> that sounds someone's. hectic, but <laughs> that is because of internet culture. Oh, we're allowed to say that's what she said. On you. <laughs> yeah. It was too but, late now. Yeah, yeah, no, well, no. It's never too late. So <laughs> does social media... Yes. Because you are in the... Social media. You are in the Vowed. limelight. People are caking at you. Oh. Does social media and the internet and this whole process terrify you? Oh, it's terrifying. It is extremely terrifying. But it's fun, right? Yeah. Because we get to be one of those people that has a voice. Yes. Um, no, uh, yeah, social media is a scary thing. I, I understand why it's important and it's it's great that we live in a time when we have social media to help get the word out when we release a new song or something. But um, it must be nice to like live in a world that doesn't have social media. Yeah, It's probably a very nice thing. Oh man, I remember yeah. that world. Yeah, I also do. Even the world without phones. Fuena, <sighs> fuena, fuena. It's like the phone is the ultimate thing to take you out of your present moment mm. and yet everyone's using social media and phones to get this message across globally that just be present yes. you're like well the device you are using to tell me this information is the very thing that's making me not be present and also that person that said it wasn't being present when they said it when they yeah. prodded it 
What if we uh, have a present week, like, or day, like Earth Day or Earth Hour, where we all switch off our lights? I mean, South Africa's way ahead of the curve in <laughs> that aspect. We fucking do that for seven hours every yeah. single day. South Africa loves. Thanks, like Syrup. Yeah. Um, but uh, let's talk politics. Yes. Syrup, my boy. <laughs> um, <laughs> someone's going to comment. His name's not Syrup, it's Cyril Albirak. Oh. It's Syrup. Yeah, it is syrup. No, um, present hour. Yeah. No phones. Like Christmas. No, we turn the internet off. Yeah. And then you're not allowed like, to talk about what you did yes. in that hour. That's cool. And that is the present. Well, you just do. That's the present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you get. It's your geschenk. Oh, I like it. Yeah. And you just, just go and do things and... And be present. Take it in. Tell me... Oh, sorry. I, sometimes I, I glance down at this lava lamp. It's the famous lava lamp. Yeah. I hear that that's real lava, according it to is. you. It yeah. is. It's very varum. That's why we don't put the guest in this chair. Okay. What's the biggest... Penis you've ever <laughs> seen? <laughs> that's actually a great question. Oh, that is... I can... Because sometimes guys, you get those guys that are like... They're just comfortable. They're like at the gym. They're like, sir. Yeah. Just like it, eh? Did you check the. They're probably talking about Bitcoin or something. They just let it yes. in the whole gedingers hang out there. And they play golf. Those and guys. they often, like, they're in the golf locker room. You're like, is it really necessary to be completely naked? <laughs> Still fun. Ooh. So some of those oaks, they like to hang their dongs out. Mm. Has there ever been an oak where you go, my key? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the only time I've thought that is when you drive on the on the freeway and you see someone peeing on the side of the road, you then it's, and you didn't really have a choice either. You were just kind of whoa, and then uh, yeah, then sometimes I hope my wife didn't see kind of thing. Yeah, I get you. But um, what's the biggest one? I've seen? Yeah, I don't know. That's it's Maybe probably the Craig. time somewhere along the N one. Craig from Desmond in the two. Craig's, I'm sure. I'm sure Craig. Yeah, but I haven't seen it. Maybe Shane. They say the firstborn. Is it? I don't know. This is a very unexplored field in science. This is why we're here prating. Yes. To explore this. Talking about biggest, what's the biggest misconception that people have about you? Oh, that's, that's a very cool question. Other than the fact that you're a nice guy. Nice. And other than the fact that you're not cool. Mm. Oh, so, yeah. So the con well, that's the... The, the misconception is that maybe people think that I am cool. You have a tattoo on your corp, right? I do, yeah. That's, you won't see it yeah. because it's, my hair is long. And it's, that's pretty cool, right? I mean, uh, getting a tattoo oh, is that cool? in your horror is yeah. cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? No, no. I mean, I, 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 I guess everyone tries to be cool, right? I, I would like <laughs> it if I was cool. Uh, the tattoo on my head uh, is maybe it does make me seem cool. But no, a big, the biggest misconception, maybe, maybe, hmm, uh, it's definitely, I don't know, it would probably have something to do with the fact that because you, th it seemed like you thought I was very nice. That's what you were saying. Yeah. I'm not trying to say that yeah. you think I'm nice. Definitely. I don't know if I'm as nice. I don't think anyone is very nice as people maybe think. I don't know how nice people think I am. But a lot of people tell me that they think I'm nice, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, but it's also <laughs> but, pressure. But, no, but yeah, like we were saying, and, it, and it doesn't feel like pressure, but I don't think I'm that, I don't think I'm that nice. Have you ever thrown a tantrum when your milk tart or your peanut butter <laughs> wasn't there? <laughs> no, yeah. I've never, never. No, that's, uh, that's ridiculous because actually <laughs> I should be confused by the fact that there is but, always a milk tart there. Yeah. That blows my mind that there's always a milk tart and there's still... I'm still there to play a show. That's why I'm there. I'm not there to eat the milk tart. And it's always there. So no, so I won't blow a tantrum there. But I, I have gotten upset once when um, the, the time that I was meant to play got moved by like, it just kept getting moved and moved by Yo, four hours and I ended gets, up leaving. But that's that, gets, a, that gets to me as well. Yeah, it can be difficult. But I mean, that's fine. But that's maybe the closest I've come to, to a tantrum at a show, I guess. I, I will make fun of people that have tantrums for for stuff like that and like not having yeah. their milk that backstage. But um, I don't know, I don't know. 
Yeah, I can't. You need to let me think about this, these misconceptions. These... But it's probably that. It's probably I'm not that nice. Okay. Because I'm a human being and I'm so, and I'm probably yeah. just not not very nice. You're a human being. I would like to be nice. I try to be nice. I feel like we're speaking a lot about being nice. You are very nice. No, no. But you see, I, I think you're very nice. Become a Okay, yeah. No, no, not okay, yeah. Ok, yeah. Like, fuck, yeah. Fuck ya! Yeah. I am Tartak percent Vater, now I have 20% percent fuck ya. Yeah. That is a lot of paracracht, Nax, eh? Na lekker. Welcome back, Thomas and Yera. I'm sitting here with. Well, Matthew here you go. <laughs> what is your main core life philosophy? Whoa! Are we there already? We can pace back if you want. No, that's nice. Uh, my main core life philosophy. 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 What is philosophy in Afrikaans? Philosophy! <laughs> really? Oh yeah, I'm a bilinguist. Philosophy. I'm also a cunning linguist. And I'm also... That's the kind of thing a haunt would say. That is the kind of thing a haunt would say. <laughs> Cunning linguist! <laughs> Not talking about prating or tall. Talking about cunnilingus. Okay. So... On that note. Um, wow. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Did I throw you off your game? Yeah, see, I don't think I'm, I'm as oh. deep as this. This is great. Okay, as, yeah. no, I think no. you're a deep guy. I think you're helping me figure out how to your process Your music is quite deep. Thoughts. That's, thanks, that's cool. That's, I mean, I, I like the idea of, of depth, and I definitely, when I'm writing a song, I'm sitting alone with my own thoughts, trying to like process them and then turn it into a song. It's, it's a lot easier to do that when I'm, like, when I'm alone. But, um, but I think, um, if, yeah, if there's a deep message or something that comes across in a song, that's awesome. That's that's great. Um, but I think I struggle to process yeah. a lot of the thoughts that I have. So maybe there's something super philosophical there in my head. But um, like it's a, like a search or a no, yeah, an unanswered question. Yeah, there's probably a whole lot of things. But uh, it's like I'm only aware of it in the back of my mind. Yeah. So, but um, it's definitely, what I've been thinking about a lot is time and how like, like um, it's something, it's just like how time is such a valuable thing. Obviously, we all know time. Yeah. Tate is very time, valuable. They always and, say that, and I feel like I've said this before, but they say time is money. Oh, yeah. But that is actually incorrect. Really? Time is Explain. time. Oh yeah, time is time. Time is time. Time is not Bitcoin or... No, time isn't Bitcoin. You could yeah. sit there and be like, you know, I spent eight hours mining Bitcoin. Bitcoin. And I've now got 400 more Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. But then the other guy go, can say, I sat and spent time with my Honda and I was and eating like, a beautiful pear in the sunlight. Yes. And I got to have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's richer? Probably the guy with the Bitcoin. Well, in terms of... No, 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 I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, in terms of time. But in terms of Tate, yeah, yeah. spent. Tate and you're spent. constantly spandering Tate. Exactly. Tate spent. Yeah. That's what I was thinking about. So it's like when you meet a successful person, for example, imagine you could meet like Michael Jordan or something, I don't know. And then um, it's like you respect this guy because he's so talented and so amazing. But what I guess a big part of what makes him so amazing is like the way he's used his time to put into what he's created, like he's a hard-working guy, so he uses time to work hard and he, and now he's where he is. I mean, part, obviously a big part of it is because he's very naturally talented, but um, but I think like time, I mean, it's it comes, I don't know, I was just thinking about it 
like earlier today and I was like it's quite interesting the way we like how do what makes you kind of when you admire somebody's like success yeah I guess that's also in partly you like admiring what they've done with their time up until now like how they've spent their time pretty wisely yeah you're admiring how they have spent their time sort of right that's really but I don't know so that, so I don't know I just think I've I've really enjoyed the the vibe of me of trying to wake up very early in the morning and go and run and spend my morning time very wisely so that maybe I spend the rest of my time wisely. That's that's a big I fact. I don't know how you could condense it for the microphone. Oh, but I think the people who have followed that train of thought that's a big fact. Ah, a fact. That's the closest way we'd I, I said yeah, so. Yeah, you're getting closer. Um, uh, I don't know if, if, if you it's wanna, deep enough. I feel like it's it's pretty deep, but try and how many, this how many words? Condense Just, it down to 30 words. Don't think about it too long. That's not a lot of time. Because time is always looping. Time is looping and hard looping. Time is looping. Did I try too hard? It's hard. I'm saying too many things into the microphone. Yeah, we that must be careful the, what isn't... we put into space. Can I cancel it out with one of these? Yeah. Can I ask you to say that time is looping because it was way nicer when you did it. Well, thank you, Matthew. I I I can't con I can't condense this. I'm just you see how you how it came out of my head. That's my condensed thought. Even if you just said time is looping. Tide is always looping. Tide is tight. So spandier tight. Moi. <laughs> oh, that was big. That was incredible. Do you? There is, am I right in saying that there's a, a religious undertone mm. to some of your music? What do you mean by that? Hmm, drying the tofu. <laughs> I see. <laughs> oh, no. No, um, like... Um, no, I know what you mean. You, you know what I mean. Religious undertones. Yeah. Um, mm. Do you feel like there's... What do you, what do you believe happens yeah. after we... Oh, wow. I thought, you, I thought you were going to ask me what I'm thinking when I write a song. What happens after <laughs> yeah. we die? I'm now drying the tough yeah. on you. What I believe happens after we die. Yeah. I don't know. I've heard a lot of... of I, I don't know, actually. Who can say they know, really? But, um, I mean, yeah, I guess I've got some... I've been taught a few things that maybe there's some things that I've, I'm, I lean more towards. But um, I guess... We go somewhere. <laughs> so you believe we have a spirit or soul? I do believe that. I do. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, but it's there of... for the old soul. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible because I don't know really. I don't know what I believe. I, I, I believe things. I, I believe a lot of stuff. But I don't ever want to tell people what, what they must believe. And even by me... Like, I don't even, I don't often, I, I try and be careful when I talk to people about what I believe because I don't want them to think I'm telling them that they should believe the same thing. But yeah, I do think, I've, I've, heard, a, I've heard an interesting theory that like when you die, you just no longer exist and you just, oh, you're gone. And it was quite interesting, but then I realized that I don't, I don't believe it. No. But if, if people believe that, cool. Yeah, no, cool. But, um. Cool, cool, cool. I think, I think you, I, I, the way you put it there, that's, that rounds it off nicely that we have a spirit. Yeah, and, and I have another question. That spirit goes somewhere. Yeah, no, definitely. I don't think a spirit Jupiter can be something. crushed. Yes. Well, I mean, maybe metaphorically. Yes. <laughs> Crushing the spirit of the Boca. <laughs> We're not supposed to be talking about politics. Or rugby. <laughs> yeah. I'm joking. So it's safe to assume you are somewhat religious. Mm. Yes. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Do you need to pray for leftovers if you've already prayed for it 
before when it Never. was Never. No, no, no. So you don't need to pray for leftovers. No, there's rules here. I think, I think when you're sitting in front of a plate of food. And you pray for it. There are certain things you can eat before you even start saying grace. Like chips, I think is one. Okay, chips. Chips um, is excluded. I think even like two bites of anything on the plate you can even have. It also depends how many people are not at the table when they should be. There's a lot of rules here. Okay, but, so um, the leftovers, 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 not leftovers question. Leftovers is you, safe. You should never pray for that. No, you should always pray. <laughs> <laughs> but not for leftovers. No. You might cancel it out if you pray yeah. for leftovers. You don't want to cancel it out. But I do know for a fact you don't pray for chips. Yeah, no, you don't pray for chips because it's already making you fat. You're already being punished. Yes. So it's, 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 you're doomed Why do way. delicious things always make us I know. Fat? And why are they all bad? And why are the things that are good for us not? Why couldn't, when the course in the world was invented, Yes. why didn't they say, okay, broccoli and spinazzi makes you fat and it's yeah. unhealthy and milk tart and those sort of like cook systems chocolates. is healthy and it makes you lose weight yeah. and it's healthy. I, I, honestly, I do think about that every day. I do too. Whenever I eat a chocolate every single day. Can you, have you ever thought about this though? Mm -hmm. That 10 years ago when you were 20, studying audio engineering there in the Hanga of the Audio Engineering God. Institute. Yeah. Right? Did you ever think that flash forward 10 years into the Tukoms, again, Tate, being spandeered, that you will be playing 20 shows in 20 European countries a mere 10 years later. <laughs> I, I mean, I've wished, I would have wished, I think. At the time, 10 years ago, I was, I had just started. No, Dude, that is big. I wouldn't big. believe it. Oh, are thanks. you trots? Are you proud of yourself? <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. I'm very, I'm very Think proud about of this. You went and studied audio countries. engineering to do what? Um, like roll cables, mix them sound. Yes. That was the dream. Was that the goal? At the time and instead, it was. you spent time, and now here you are, 20 shows in 20 European cities. Yeah. 10 uh, years later. So yeah, 10 years ago, I would have wished something like that, uh, but it wouldn't, I so wouldn't have believed it. Clock yourself on the scour, my oh. friend, because you know what? You have spandeered your tate wisely. Sleep later in nice. the morning. Don't even get up to run. Oh. You are overachieving. <laughs> this is good stuff, my king. <laughs> overachieving. That. Take I us with you. It. Yes, please come with. You guys were just there. Yeah, but, um, but we only had so, one star. Ah, oh, the, the, one of the, the important one. But um, yeah, I don't the know. Zarb looking... start. Zarb start. Yeah. That's the, that's the one. No, well Maybe. done. That is, a, that is a big achievement. And I want to ask you this. Why are you doing all of this? <laughs> yeah, what like, am I trying but to really, escape? Like, no, no. Are you, why? Do you do this? What drives you and mm. motivates you? Is yeah. it pure passion? Mm -hmm. Is it legacy to after you Whoa. die to leave some kind of yeah. history? Sure. Or is it geld? <laughs> it's probably all of the above. No, it's definitely just the geld. No, big fact. Let's put it there for geld. Yeah. Shout out Bitcoin. Bitcoin. If I can, I'll ask. I'll ask some of them if they wouldn't mind um, putting some Bitcoin on my hospitality rider. Yeah, put it on there and just see what yeah. they come up with. Maybe it's, someone it's, accidentally leaves you a Bitcoin. Yeah, a whole one. Or a Kriorast. <whistles> when last did you hail? Oh, um, I think, I think, I don't, I, I think don't again. Don't think too hard. Again, no, no, don't no. Don't think so hard. I'm trying to think of a genuine word. I might, might be now. I think when, um, since I, as like everything else we've been talking about, as I've been getting older, I've been more susceptible to hailing. Yeah. But um, this morning in the car, you don't have to tell me why you hail, just when. <laughs> yeah, that's was probably, it's probably like, like last year. That's too long ago. I know. You need to hail, my yeah. friend. And I don't want to get too specific, but it was probably while I was watching a movie starring like Ewan McGregor or something. 
Och ja. Or like fuck ya. Because it's... Well, fuck it like It's that simple. What have you learned from the most difficult thing you've ever been through in your life? Wow, that's good. That's very good. And I have learned stuff. No, what have, what have you learned? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I guess like the, a lot of the world can relate now. They've all, everyone's gone through a difficult time, right? And, Big um, faggots. Yeah, huge. And uh, I, a lot of the time, like, things didn't go the way that, for, so for me, and I think for a lot of other people, but for me, things didn't go the way that I had planned, the way that I wanted them to go. Things didn't happen. The, the stuff I wanted to happen didn't happen, couldn't happen. And actually the opposite, like, the things weren't going very well for, mm. yeah, in, in, in a lot of areas in the world. And um, what I learned is that, like, in that situation, I grew a lot because I was faced with a situation that I'd never been faced with and that I never planned on being faced with. And that made it kind of like, I don't know, it made it, uh, I don't want to, it's not cheesy, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, whatever, that whole vibe. But like, I guess, I mean, making it through difficult stuff like that, it, it, it makes difficult situations seem less intimidating. So, I mean, you, I guess maybe it, it kind of, you, you strengthen yeah. your, you, you diminish fear a little bit. Yes. So like the things that you're fearful of, I think they start so, to get a bit smaller. So it's it's you've gotten to know yourself a bit better mm. as well. Totally. Yeah, I think in, pretty much. So I've just I've just learned the things that I am scared of and the things that I don't really need to be scared of. And the things I don't need to be scared of are the things I've faced. The things I am scared of are maybe things that I haven't faced yet. It's it's crazy that the difficult times and the hardships and the things we so like try and avoid. We really like try and sidestep yes. all the, yeah. the difficulties in life. Mm. But it's those very difficult and hardships and those situations that, that actually make yeah. you grow. Totally. That's the... Mm. When you need it. It's yeah. almost the good stuff. It is. It's almost like we need to look at difficulties and hardships and challenges as future gifts. Yes. Because Love in that. the future, once you've gone through this thing, yes. you are more spiritually and mentally chiseled. Hey, because, I love this. And it's difficult because you are both the sculptor and the marble. You know, so it's like very, it's, it's, great, it's not an easy process. No, it's not. It's the opposite of that. No, but okay. while, while it's happening, you need to just say to yourself, okay, I'm sculpting yes. on myself, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and I'm gonna grow. I love that. And in the future, when I'm like a nice, uh, like, flock farky. Yeah, like a little spiritual flock farky that's standing there going, oi! Mm. Then you look back at that very thing that was cut difficult and big, yeah. and you go, that was actually. What created this? A gift. Yeah. Where did you get that? Not from that... staying in the comfort zone, not from exactly. getting what I want but from getting the yeah. opposite of what I want. And also what I like about what you're saying is it's like you're not, you're not glamorizing the difficult part. It's not nice. You don't want that to happen, but when yeah. it happens, it helps Yeah, you. it's not like you're trying to attract yeah. difficulty. It's just, it will come inevitably. It's life. If anything, as the pandemic anything for us geleer it, <laughs> Here's this thing that we all went through. Everyone locked down. Mm -hmm. Everyone was in a pandemic. Everyone was kind of scared. Yeah. We don't know what it's done yet yes. to our minds. Yes. And now it's like, cool, get back in there. Yeah. Get back to work. It's carry over. on. Come on, carry on. <laughs> and you're like, but I've changed. Yes. Something's different. It's not the same world. Well, get back to work. <laughs> Make hell. Live, survive. Oh. And you're like, but it's not really the same. Yes. yes. So we're still figuring out mm. the sort of impact of that yes. change. But like you're saying, I guess there were also a lot of positive things that it brought. Definitely. It was not a positive thing, like a difficult situation yes. is. But I guess there are a lot of big, like... Most positive things grow out of things that are not... Positive. Positive. It's kind of like oh. a mushroom 
growing on a tree that has died. Yeah. You know, you're like sad. Oh man, the tree was so majestic standing there in the forest and now it's died. But now these mushrooms start to grow yeah, and the that's... tree is transforming. And maybe that's why, maybe that's how I know we don't ever really die. Because if we oh. die physically, we, it's like, does the tree in the forest ever really die? No, yeah. it just transforms. Sure. I think. That's very deep. You should just be saying all of this into the facts, Mike. But no, don't, then don't my do, don't do, don't will do. become yeah, too yeah. cruel. Yeah, it might explode. Sometimes we need to ground ourselves by just talking about the veer. Yeah. Like yes. really small talk. Do you like small I talk? I love small talk. Really? I mean, no, 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 wait. I hate small talk. We can have some small talk if you want. But yeah, yeah. I like the balance. This is nice. Yeah. Yes, uh, this morning. And I was uh, walking out to my car. Yeah. It was what cold happened? day. It was very cold. <laughs> yes. And then? No, yeah, then the you, funniest thing happened. Like I drove and, and you got some to the hours McDonald's. came. I passed the McDonald's and, and now it. it's kind of warm again. And <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, eh? It's busy, eh? Life, man. Yes, I've been busy, eh? Yeah, that sounds like a good morning. It's busy. Very yeah. busy. But you're well, um, eh? I'm well, yeah. I woke up and I ate some oats. You dose? I dosed a little bit. Yeah, but you're doing a bit of dosing lately. Yeah, I like to dose. Just and dosing. Dosing's nice, eh? Yes, I love saying dosing. Dosing. There's dosing. a difference between sleeping and dosing. Dosing, you are out. Right? But I was dosing. <laughs> yeah. Did you dose last night? Yeah. Did I, you dose last I night? I dosed last night. Do you night. have a problem dosing? Uh, no. I think as soon as I fall asleep, actually, I don't know. As soon as I, I'm dosing, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes people ask me, so how, how did you sleep? And I was like, I don't know, I was dosing. <laughs> well, then you slept well, my friend. Exactly. I sometimes am very aware of the fact that I'm dosing. I'm like, really? Still dosing. Yeah, yes. That's like when you have to wake up at three o'clock in the morning and you wake up every hour and you're like... The witching hour. <gasps> that is the witching hour. Three o'clock. Do you ever yeah. wake up at the witching hour and you go, I'm going to write a song? Yeah, I've never done that. That's, then, that's a very good idea. The, Matthew Mull B-Sides. The death metal B-Sides. Life is bleak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do you word. think, so wait, are you afraid of dying? I, I think so. Well, now not anymore that you know you're going to plutz and kill over and the mushrooms will come and seich on your life. Yeah, there'll be stuff coming out of here. But um, yeah, I think so. I mean, because I'm... I'm so scared of like things like flying in airplanes. I'm terrified no, of it. And no, I guess airplane. it's because. Yes, so I've got an airplane not because I, I love flying in an airplane, but because I love to travel. Unfortunately, the best way to travel is via the, the airplane, yeah, via the sky. Um, it's the quickest way to, to get Why? to. Where do you scared. think the fear of flight comes from? Probably control. Fear of, of, I don't know, someone else has all the control. I'm just sitting there and all I've got is a little window. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, it's, yeah. it's hectic. No, uh, I, but I think I get scared of flying. I'm not as scared as I used to be. But I think I'm scared of flying, maybe because of the control thing, but also because what happens if it crashes and I die? That's, yeah. a scary, that's scary. As human beings, we are very afraid of not being in control, in be here. Yes. And the thing is... The only way, we, we think the only way yeah. to get on top of that is by being in control. In control, yeah. So you like want to be in control of things. Yes. And when you're not, you Ooh, freak out bad. because you're not in control. But the, the actual way is to unfar or to just accept or to let go yes, of let the go desire of... to be in control. Yes. And to rather practice more unfar, unfaring. Yeah. Because then you'll feel a lot yeah. less stressed about not yes. being in control. Yeah. I think. I agree. I think there's, there's some things that you obviously can control, but not everything. No. So I guess if you do the best you can with those few things, then... You can con control how you react, yes. how you yeah. speak, exactly. how you... You can't even control what you think. Yeah. How you want to control... That's inside your corp. Mm. And now you want to control what's happening outside in the barrel? I think not. <laughs> I think not. Not. You like saying not? Not. Not. 
Nord, bro. That, but yeah. I've never been cool enough to say that. I can't even say dude. No, you can say dude. Cannot say dude. Can't even say it on WhatsApp. How's it, dude? I can't even message someone and be like, hey, dude, how's it going? I can't say No that. one is actually cool. No one is cool. Yeah, that's true. That's the, the nice thing to realize. That is a very, it's a very good realization. No one is cool. But it's tough when like you're at the bottom of, of even the people that might be close to being cool or anyone in the whole world, no one's cool. But when you're really, really not cool, then it's, it's tough to, it's it's tough then to everyone else is cool. Here. We out here being uncool. <laughs> no, Shout cooler. out to everyone who is not cool or feels not uncool cool. or not cool. Like not cool, bro. Not, bro. Not, bro. Not cool. Not. Not, man. That's like a Durban thing. Yeah. Right? Not. I like not. the Durban folk. I love it. I feel it. like they're very wholesome. They are. Like, like they're just like, yeah, bro. Like, yeah, not. I'm grist. Yeah, no, man. Yeah, no, Kiff. like, I mean, yeah. Like Dave. Kiff. Dave. Although he's he's got Durban energy. He does. The old the kiffness. He's yeah. got I don't think he is actually a Durban boot. No, he's but actually he's got, not, yeah. He's got Durban energy. He's he's really so he's good at it. Yeah. So he's an yeah. chilled. Yeah. But it's it's the genius. That he's trying to He's not a very it. clever guy. He's a genius, that guy, I think, yeah. Well, Dave. David. Genius. What do you think about PC and woke and cancel mm. culture. Yeah, it's all just, you it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know, uh, cancel culture, oh my goodness. <laughs> I think we can leave it right there, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, no, well, yeah, I don't know. Uh, cancel culture, it's ridiculous. But I do, I did really like what, what the kiffness, what Dave had to say about being canceled. What did he say? You, can, you can't ever be canceled if you, if you don't cancel yourself. That is still the biggest fact. Mm. Did you yeah. reach for the mic? No, I was just pointing it. Just, <laughs> it was set into one of those. Like, remember, yeah. remember. Not can, this, this. We could even have him saying it here to remind yes. us. Some facts are so big that they spill into other episodes of season two, you can't. Whoa. And I remember him sitting all casually like, yeah, you can't be canceled if you don't cancel yourself. Yes. <laughs> Yo, old Dave. It's true. But yeah, I, I don't, I couldn't, it's hectic. No, that, it that is all, hectic. That whole side of things, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Next question. Okay. <laughs> Do you believe that parents should speak to their children yes. about pornography? Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's a thing in the world, right? I guess they should, I don't know. No, I liked it when you said, yeah. I mean, you can't just pretend that it doesn't exist at some point. The kid's gonna know, the parent's gonna probably know that the kid and knows that it exists. they have to do more pretending. No, yeah. they still don't know. Yeah. I mean, I saw the search history, but they still don't know. Yeah. They don't think it exists. We all good. <laughs> so it's probably good to, I mean, what I, I was luckily, like I was raised in an awesome family where my, my family was, they spoke about a lot of things. They're very supportive, they're amazing. And I'm very grateful for the way I was raised and everything. And then like everyone's raised differently. And it's really cool to see families where like you feel the children, I've just, I've, I don't know, I've just met a few families where I've seen this, where the children feel like they can say anything, not yeah. just anything and get away with it, yeah. but they, they're not holding back with their yeah, family, they, their they parents. Yeah, they feel like it, they can be open and yeah. honest. They and don't then, have to like yeah. be, di be a different exactly. sort of censored version of themselves around yeah. their parents. Which I think is maybe quite a common thing. I mean, I guess everyone's censored version they can be, I don't know. So I, I think, yeah, I guess it's good to talk about stuff like that. No. <laughs> with your kids, right? I'm not, a, I'm not a parent, so I don't know. But you can still have... Imagine. Yeah. I will be a parent. So that's a good question. Thanks. Yeah, now, well, you can think about it. I'm dunking More already. things for the, for the mind. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna, I'm More gonna be, mind course. You're going to send me home with a full mind, of course. Do you think vulnerability is a strength or a weakness? I think it's a strength. I think, I think people see it like subliminally as a weakness. I think they're like, people don't want to be vulnerable because they, they want to be the ones that are in control and you yeah, need to assert your power. Yeah, you know, vulnerability doesn't assert power. I think people think 
when they show vulnerability that it shows like a chink in their yes. armor. Like, oh, now I'm not seeming confident and, yes. and together and exactly and strong. And that's all the things you're supposed to be as yeah, a person. Yeah, that's just what we're supposed to be. But if everyone's walking around like that, then we also like completely cut off yes. to like vulnerability, exactly. which everyone is actually yeah. like, they say we're 70% water, but I think we're 70% vulnerable. So. I agree. We should maybe just. <laughs> make me I, I think showing vulnerability, especially yeah. people Huge in a strength. position of like power that has a yeah. lot of ears, yes. makes, you know, it more um, no, it's... open for other people to, I agree. to express that and to be vulnerable. Yeah, man, it shows you that it shows people that you don't think you're this perfect person because everyone knows no one's a perfect person. And then at least when you show that you're aware of it and that you're not scared of anyone knowing your vulnerabilities, they it's, probably, it, it does encourage them to do the same. Vulnerability is krach. It mm. is, it's like ultimate krach. If you had to, and it's invisible. Yeah, yes, it well, is. And maybe in the way it's expressed, not, but if you had to, Take vulnerability in the palm of your hand and pump 10 of these every day. Jeez. Just like it. You will get. Yeah, it'll be like, You'll look like Popeye. Yeah. Okay, I'll give it a try. <laughs> if, you have okay. me back, if you have me back for the next season, we'll see if I've. Vulnerability Spear. <laughs> what? Uh, um, what? I don't want to focus on anything negative too much, but what mm. really gets up your gut? Oh, what yeah. annoys you? I love it. The sound of people eating food. <laughs> really? It's not very deep, but oh my word, I cannot stand it. So Unless, if, if you're on a little tour bus and skulk, because oh. I know you and skulk beef, and I want you to send him a message just now to really get back at that clown. You know, he's a real, he thinks he's a comedian, but he's really but he, just a clown. Um, in that bussy, <laughs> yes. you guys were recently on a, we on were, a yeah. shuttle together for yes. seven hours. Seven and hours. And I know Skulk likes to snack. He fucks in a, a course mm. of nieta and crisps and like wortels and things. And he, if you were sitting there hearing Skulk chowing food, what goes Man. through your head? Like yeah. what do you want to say to him? What I want to say to Skulk when I hear that guy chewing, that clown, is... Um, no, he was, he was amazing. No, Skulk, come on, let's Skulk keep that amazing. energy going. Skulk, you clown. What do you, what do you want to say to that clown? <laughs> come on, there's no nice guy pressure here today. <laughs> no, but really, he was so nice. <laughs> but, no, um, but he's going, so what do you want to I'm say to that clown? I'm going to right here if you... No, I did, I did think I should sing all trip long because I knew how much he hated my singing, Skulk. I know how much you hate my singing and my clapping. And um, and uh, don't eat near me ever again, please. You should put that in your hospitality rider. Don't eat near Matthew Mole. Especially if your name is Skulk. So we're on top of the tech rider before it gets to the technical and sound requirements. <laughs> first of all, do not eat near Matthew Mole. That's the first page. Then it goes to Matthew Mole tech rider. Yeah, tech rider. And then at the end again, NB <laughs> in red. Don't eat near Matthew Mole. <laughs> no milk tart yeah. may be consumed near Matthew Mole. Yeah, I think milk tart, oof, that's a bad one. At least one. that's a soft chew. No, it's still, it's actually worse. It's too it's, loud because it has that. Yes. No, this is fine. Is this fine? Yeah, but because there's no actual food there. But the problem that, the, where it becomes a problem for me is, yeah, if Skulk eats, it sucks. But if someone I really love eats, it flippin' sucks too. Really? It doesn't matter if I So hate how are the dinner the dates person. with you Skull? and your lady? Um, I wear earplugs. <laughs> no. You wear ear pods. Yeah, yeah, I'm listening to music. No, Jess, if she makes if she makes she sounds tries, when she eats. She it's tries to chew really it's softly. Very, it's very beautiful when she makes sounds. <laughs> no, um, no, she's, yeah, she's aware, she's aware that I don't like the sounds of eating, but I don't want her to be considerate to make be quiet because I'm there. That's not nice, right? It's not nice yeah. for me to put that on a, on anyone. That's a big thing. Put but on um, there. Like, how's, how are things with Matthew? No, it's great. Like, he is great. <laughs> I'm He's just great. starving. I'm just starving. Like, 
I have to eat so quietly all the time. I snuck into the room the other day just to take a bite of an energy bar and he went, Oi! I can hear that. Oh, man. Um, yeah. Be co- no, so you know what? Actually, there, it does, it, there are certain foods. Milk, milk tats and stuff, horrible. Because you can hear the person going, but chips, like a crispy chip is fine because- Sounds lacquer. There's no way you can, yeah, that's just chips. It's more, I don't know, man. Think about it next time. Yeah, okay. I'm going to listen out to the sound. No, don't. Don't do it. If you, it doesn't never bother you. No. Okay, then don't even think about it after this. Yeah, because maybe once you start hearing it, now it's like when someone says a certain kind of word and then suddenly you notice that word or that number. Yep. Now I'm going to start noticing people chowing and chewing next to me, like schmilling away. And I'm sitting there like... Hope not. I don't want to live in that world. It's a horrible, it's horrible. It's a horrible world. Well, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, but I'm going to put it on my you tape writer. You know what writer. really irritates me? Mm-hmm. Ungrateful cats. Cats? Ungrateful cats. Like the animal? Yeah. Not just cats you in give general. It a, no, I love oh. cats. That's my key. Oh. But I mean, if you give a cat food or you haven't been home in two weeks and you walk yeah. in the door and they're just like, yeah. I'm like, who do you think you are? Yeah, be yeah. grateful yes. for my presence. Be grateful for my food. Yeah, I agree. Ungrateful cats. And, but I mean, the way I see cats is they're always ungrateful. So It's part of their steez. So, yeah, I guess it's part of what makes them who they are. The so ungrateful steez. So maybe that'll help you now. Maybe you'll be like, oh, cats are just ungrateful. So that's just who they are. And, that's, and I love cats. So I must love who they are. Yeah. Miss uh, Matthew Ball, you're an interesting creature. <laughs> interesting cat. You're an interesting cat. Thanks. Cut. Musician. Thinker. Dunker. A dunker. I like, can I call my, can I? And you can kickflip, hey? I can kickflip. I wanted to ask you if you can 360 flip. No, I, can you 360 I, it flip? Wasn't, it wasn't you. I can kickflip, you can kickflip. Yeah, but I think you, if we, we had to go now back to back, I think you'll. Do you have a skateboard here? Scott's plunk. No. We had one on the wall, but we changed it to put you Picture there. Picture of me. Uh... Matthew Mole, I thank you for your music, thank your you. majestic column, nice energy, and I'd like to confirm you're not cool. Yay. It's prachtig and toch cool. Thank you. That means a lot. <laughs> And I mean it, my oh, kid. Thanks. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you. You're being very nice. Too nice, actually. I can also be nice sometimes. No. But I can also be a problem. If you cross me, you will have problema in this world on this ball. <laughs> Do you ever drop a pee bomb? I never said that one. Never. Oh, I've said it. I've said it. Sorry. I try not to. I say a couple sometimes. What's your favorite? That's my favorite. My favorite is probably the Afrikaans version, and to say, actually, it's yes. I've yeah. never said this on the on the internet before. You can say anything on the internet. People are saying all sorts of things. Climate isn't real. Okay. Health doesn't exist. The Earth is a square. That's true. That one's true. No, that I'm is true though. No, I like. To it say- is in space though. Oh yes. Wait, We're so not the- totally <laughs> like clouds. No, 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 just a little bit. But um, I, it's nice to say, to say fuck it. That's a nice one. Fuck it. And it's also in an Afrikaans accent. Oh, fuck it, Matthias. Thank you for strelling us with that beautiful, beautiful stem. It's like velvet and molasses and honey mixed into a beautiful concoction with some peanut butter and artapelkoos jam. And then you're just mixing it all together and you're pouring it all over our faces, the whole country's faces. And that is the essence and the majesty of Matthew Mull, just being poured onto our eardrums and our sealer. Thank you. That's lacquer. You put that on a bread? (sighs) That's phlegm, yeah, that's phlegm. That's a phlegm bomb. (laughs) Anyway, Mensa, we're gonna go bomb some kickflips in the tain. Yeah. We'll see you 
in de toekomst. Namaste, kakkere. Yo. <laughs> my goodness. Some... See, I'm not cool. <laughs> no, no. I think some people are going to take that clip and watch it over and over. <laughs> not me. <laughs> Get that. You guys got that, right? <laughs>